Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a, another video on basically a back to basics understanding the uh, basics of the task manager. We've seen uh, processes, we've seen the CPU. Today I want to check out the memory tab. So start your task manager at the bottom on the uh, right click on the taskbar, go into task manager and go into the performance tab once again. So we looked at the CPU uh, yesterday. Let's take a look at memory. So what do we have here of information about memory? So memory, what, what is memory first of all? Memory is the RAM memory or what's basically the working memory of your computer. There are different types of memory on a computer. A hard drive is a type of memory. It's a type of storage place. Uh, memory refers to RAM, which is random access memory. Random access memory is very different from most other memory because it is a special memory that is usually much faster than the rest of the types of memory that are available, like non-volatile and so on. It is also memory that basically goes back to zero state once the power of the computer is turned off. Why do we have memory? Well, think of memory as a table. Think that you are using a table to work on something and you need tools. The bigger the table, the more tools you'll have around you to work. Memory is about, it's pretty much like that. The bigger the amount of RAM memory, the more it can store, the more tools Windows has to run. And since it's the fastest memory, well, it generally makes Windows and the, your computer faster. Not enough memory, equivalent to a small table. You're working on your table, but you got to get up to get tools on another table. So it takes longer, slows down, slows down your workload. So it slows down the computer as well because it has to compensate. And if you don't have enough memory, it compensates with a hard drive. Hard drive being much slower than RAM memory. So what information do we have? We have, of course, the amount of memory and type of memory on the right side. So here it says 8 gigabytes DDR3. So 8 gigabytes of RAM memory. And DDR3 is the generation. So for example, we had DDR, you know, it goes back. We had SD, RAM, we had, you know, so many types of memory. Right now we're in DDR, uh, this is 3. Today we have DDR4, uh, there's a talk of DDR5. Uh, technically the DDR memory as we change generation is faster than the previous generation. So here you've got the information of what type. So if you're looking at what do I need for memory on my computer, well, okay, I need DDR3 if I want to have memory on my computer. And there's another number that goes with it that's uh, in this uh, page also. Under it, under it, you see the um, memory usage. Basically, this is the different memory usage. Um, so you have a line here at the bottom that's pretty stable. That's how much I've used and how much is left here on the top, you see. And, you know, just for the fun of it, let's uh, open applications open some stuff, these all load into memory and uh, just look at how it is actually using a little more memory. The line has gone up a little bit. So of course as I'm using applications I'm also using uh, more memory space. Then um, here what you want is to be using a lot of memory but not max out all the time. So basically, uh, you don't want to use in this, um, you know, people tend to say, oh, I've got 70% of my memory used. I'm going to use a uh, program that will, uh, you know, uh, basically clean out what's in RAM to make more space. Don't do that. It's one of the worst things you can do because you're going to slow down your computer. Your computer knows what it needs to put in memory. And in Windows 10, memory is used much more than in other versions, not because Windows 10 requires more RAM. 
simply because it has a new memory management system that makes the computer use RAM at its maximum possible uh, possibilities to make Windows 10 much faster. You don't want to lower the amount of memory that's used from um, Windows 10. Then you've got, of course, memory composition. This is kind of a graphical display of the different, um, you know, let's just put our, if I put my uh, uh, pointer here, it says, okay, what's in use? Then if I go here, it says, what's in standby? That's empty memory, basically. And everywhere you go, you'll have information. What's free? This is what's not used at all right now. So, um, and you know, modified. So memory whose content must be written to disk um, before uh, basically uh, it can be used for another purpose. So, you know, it's a interesting visual display of how the memory is divided right now. On the bottom, you've got numbers. So what are the numbers? You've got on the right side, speed. So this is the speed of my RAM memory. It's running at 1600 megahertz or 1.6 gigahertz. So if I would n buy new RAM for my laptop, what I need to do is I know it's DDR3 and I know it runs at 1600 megahertz. So that means I would need to buy DDR3 at rated at least at 1600 megahertz or higher because if you have DDR3 and it's rated at say 2000 megahertz it is going to work it's just that it's going to work at 1600 megahertz slots used this is because I've got two slots to put memory sticks in my computer and both are being used so that means that this is probably divided equally to RAM um, sticks of four gigabytes each for a total of eight gigabytes. Form factor, SODIM. SODIM is the type of memory slot that is in a laptop in general. Um, so if you're looking for RAM memory for a laptop, usually you'll search for SODIM because it's the type of connector that is used uh, for laptop computers. And then it says hardware reserved. That means that 47.8 megabyte, very, very small chunk of that memory, is actually reserved for the computer's hardware. It needs to store information in a small part of that RAM memory to work correctly. On the left side, you have in use. That is how much RAM is used by my different processes, by the different software that I'm using. Available is what's unused right now what could be used for different um, things in the computer. Committed. Committed RAM is, uh, or memory, sorry, is virtual memory. So this is something that, for example, like the window, Windows page system, which creates a space on the hard drive. And this virtual memory can be used in case that we need uh, more space to do something. Windows has virtual memory uh, because it needs for itself to create also, you know, not just space for its own use, but space in case RAM is running out. Cached, this is pretty much what's reserved and put next uh, you know, to in, in a little box next to it. it. It simply means that all the processes, all the things that are always required that run regularly are cached so that it makes things faster. By having cached all the processes and all the software that's always being run, it is easier to fetch so it's faster for the computer to work. And then you've got page pool and non-page pool. Page pool is the amount of pages of memory that are used that could be written to hard drive if needed. So for example, say you're running out of RAM, there could be, um, that page pool could be written to hard drive. Non-page pool is the amount of paged memory that just cannot do anything else but stay in the RAM memory. It cannot be written to a hard drive or any other media. 
So basically, in the usage itself, don't worry. If you've got at least four or even eight gigabytes of RAM, uh, usually for 90% of the people, this is enough. Um, four gigabytes, I would say, look at your usage. If you're running at 80 or 90%, don't try to lower the amount of memory used. Buy yourself memory sticks and just put more RAM in your computer so that it has more space to work. You know, this is a very bad habit of a lot of people. Oh, I'm using too much RAM. I'm going to lower the amount of RAM I'm using. No, you don't want to do that. You want to just add more RAM so that you just have more space. I got 8 gigabytes, and you see here I'm using only 2.7. I'm using a very small amount of that RAM. And even when I do very intensive stuff, it doesn't get up much. But, you know, you want to use RAM. You know, don't think about, oh, I'm using too much. That does not exist. You, you, you are not using too much RAM. You will never be using too much RAM. If you are maxed out, you just need more RAM, and that's it. I'd say that a computer that has 8 gigabytes for 90% of the people is more than enough. Boosting it to 16 gigabytes if you're not doing anything special is useless. You'll be just throwing out your money. So, hope you enjoyed this look into the memory and the RAM memory of the computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And hopefully, you will continue watching us on this channel. Thank you for watching.